All right. Well, if you have your Bibles, let's go ahead and open those up to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1, we'll be looking at verses 15 through 16. And, you know, we're still looking at the, the, the big picture here for our morning devotions is the greatest verses in the Bible. Uh, but what we're going to do over the next, you know, few weeks is look at those in reference to different different important topics in the Bible. And what we're going to look at this week is the holiness of God, the holiness of God. When, when you hear the word holiness, what comes to mind? Holiness, holiness. You know, God is holy. You know, if you've been reading your Bible or been a Christian for any length of time, you know that God is holy. But what does that mean? What does it mean for God to be holy? And what does the Bible say about uh, how God's holiness should affect you and, and me? And then how should that respond in our lives? Are we supposed to be holy? How do you and I be made holy? What does God do in us to make us holy like he is? We're going to look at those things over the, this week as we look at these uh, devotions, the greatest verses in the Bible in reference to the holiness of God. And we start here, 1 Peter chapter 1. It's interesting that Peter, you know, whose name was Simon, right? Shifting sand, but God made him into Petrus, right? Uh, Peter, rock, little rock, right? Little rock. He said, on this rock of the gospel, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And he said to Peter, you know, I'm going to take you from being shifting sands and I'm going to make you into a rock. And that's what God does as he teaches us about his holiness. First Peter chapter one, verse 12 to, um, excuse me, First Peter chapter 1, verse 15, but as he who called you is holy, Peter says, as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, be holy, for I am holy. So Peter here, inspired by the Holy Spirit, is telling you and I, listen, about the holiness of God. He says, he who called you is holy. Do you remember when the Lord called you, right? When you first began to sense God calling you, you know, the word church in the Greek is ecclesia, and it's the called out ones. You know, you and I, the Bible says, were once dead in our trespasses and our sins, right? And then God called us. He called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. I love that verse. Peter says that as well. And, and, and Peter here says, he who called you is holy. Now listen, you could circle that word holy. The Greek word is hagios. It's set apart. Uh, one, one way to really understand holiness is it's wholeness, wholeness, right? God is not broken or fractured. God is not in pieces. There's not a chunk of God missing. God is whole. He is holy. He is holy. And Peter says, he who called you is holy. You also be holy in all your conduct. Why? Because it is written, he says, be holy. Why? For I, for I am holy. You know, God says, listen, I'm your father. Why should you and I desire holiness? Why should we desire holiness? You know, what should motivate us to want to be holy? Is it say, well, I want to be a better Christian than the other Christians around me. I want to be the best Christian in the world. Peter says, nah, that's not the right motivation. Peter says, I understand that motivation. I, I used to have it myself, you know. Uh, me and the other disciples would argue together about who is the greatest in such, uh, you know, even when Jesus washed, uh, he was washing our feet and he got to me and I said, no, Lord, these other guys don't know what they're talking about. They let you wash their feet because they're not as great as I am, but I'll never let you wash my feet. And Jesus said, Pete, if you don't let me wash you, I can have no part with you. You can have no part with me. You know, you must be washed. Peter says, be holy. Why? For God is holy. We, we should desire holiness because our father is whole. And God says, listen, a little secret about holiness is that you will be holy. Because your father is holy. If you have been born again, the Holy Spirit is at work in you, making you whole. You know, it's been said, you know, uh, I could say to my son, Luke, son, you will have a big nose. You know why? Because your father has a big nose. 
It's that simple. Listen, you will be holy. You know why? Because your father is holy. So continue to let him work the wholeness of God in you. You'll be better off for it. You'll be blessed because of it. And Father, we thank you today for your holiness. God, we pray as we look at these devotions together on the holiness of God, that we would desire to be more like you and that you would make us whole, Lord, as you are whole. And Father, we thank you for how you have already made us whole and that, Lord, you're at work to continue that, that, that good work in us. And we praise you for it. And we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.